Hello, friends and allies, and welcome to a new video. With the summer update, the Tibia Drome were introduced, and we were able to gain a couple of new potions. And in today's video, I, I would like to talk about the Bestiary Betterment Potion. Uh, and I'm currently on the server Antica. And just look on that price of the Bestiary Betterment. Um, the sell offer is pretty much 5kk and the buy offer is around 4. And if you check the market history, we can pretty much see that the average price of the bestiary betterment is 5k. Okay. So, how come people are prepared to pretty much pay um, uh, 150 Tibia coins for one hour of the double amount of um, kills uh, from the bestiary betterment? Um, so pretty much you kill one monster and you gain twice the amount. Uh, so I was thinking about it. Does people use the bestiary betterment on rapid respawn? Uh, do they use it when they run like 10 people in Banuta during rapid respawn to make it quicker? Um, and who are the people who can afford paying for this? Uh, what is their um, purpose of buying this item? So I was discussing this with my very good friend Quiet and we came to the conclusion that uh, people uh, are not using this um, bestiary betterment for um, uh, you know the normal charm hunting uh, and it's not either um, you know, the people who hate charm hunting who use it. I believe it's people who want to finish pretty much all the charms in the game. Uh, you know, the people who have plenty of charm points. Uh, for an example, I believe that people who buy these potions are the ones who want to finish uh, hard creatures to find. You know, like um, the Yeti. Or the Midnight Panther. You know the creatures which are hard to find. I think that is the reason why we can justify the prices of the bestiary betterment. Because around the value of 150 TC for this item is pretty much absurd. So as stated before, the bestiary betterment count one kill as two kills. And it only lasts for one hour. So how can you use it as efficient as possible? Well, for me, I was uh, lucky enough to get one from the Tibia Drome. And what I hate about this game when it comes to the charm hunting. I hate to do this checks for the Yeti, the Midnight Panther um, and also um, the Dire Penguins. So, when I was lucky enough to find one of the creatures here on Goroma, the undead cave bear, I knew I had to use the bestiary betterment, because I was aware that it's not really worth the value, but for me personally, to save the amount of uh, effort, not the time, uh, the value of 150 TC is definitely worth it. It's quick charm points and um, you know, I do not have to run here just for the sake of running here without being lucky. So if you do not care about charm hunting, but you care about being efficient, I believe this is one of the best way to get the quick charm points. And that is to use the bestiary betterment when you find a rare creature. 
especially if you play on a crowded server, where there are plenty of people checking for these rare bosses, which gives you plenty of charm points in, re in relation to how many you need to kill. As stated before, it's not worth it, but it's the buyer and seller who put the value of the item. And for me, if I get it for free from the Tibia drone, I'm not going to sell it, I will just use it to save some time. And as you can see, uh, in uh, the bestiary tracker, I have killed 200 cave beer. And here they are, uh, also two in front of me. And by popping the bestiary pediment, I will finish this charm. And I do, no I do not need to go here again. And for me, that is worth it. Uh, I'm aware that the Undead Cave Bear is a rather easy uh, charm point to do, but just to not need to go here again, I will call it worth it. So, thank you guys very much for watching. If you get a bestiary betterment and you are a charm hunter, I will keep it, but otherwise I will just sell it because the value is so good. And for KK is probably the most valued potion from the Tibia Drome.